Good morning from Bohol. The clothes are not dry. Yeah, remember those we spent all day doing yesterday? They're still soaked. So we're going to walk down the street and there's a laundry place. Hopefully they got a dryer and hopefully they can dry it up for us. If not, then... Uh, I don't know. Uh, we're heading out to the all the big sites in Bohol today, but the weather is looking a little scary. It's already started sprinkling. Says the uh, it's gonna rain like for sure in the middle of the day. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Might get rained on all day, and I might be even more sick. Who knows? Can do this. Zip lining. Oh ho ho. Zip line adventure. So we're finally here. Our first stop. The first stop on that trip. The first time we've zip lined in a while. We got a lot of things to do today. Yes. It's gonna be a long day. I don't know people here surprisingly. No. What the heck? There's like a bridge or like a some sort of gondola looking thing going across the valley over here. I mean from the road it looks like there was a river down below here. You can bring a camera, just be sure to secure it. Ah, uh, we got a secure thing. Hello. Probably, we probably want to do back and forth to the zip line, right? So we get to do it twice? Yeah. Uh, can we do uh, the all rights? All right. We're three Yes. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. So we shall not be like to, right? Uh, all right, table car. Should be a cool view from this thing. Yeah, definitely. Are you ready? Let's frack into the table car. This better have been worth 200. Two frack and a hundred. <laughs> We'll be sitting out on that thing, you know, start dangling and cracking, and then we'll be hanging by one rope. And then some people will be trying to save us, and then it goes down to three fingers. Oh no. And two. No. And the one. No. Then just the one knuckle. No. This is very jungly out here, my god. Yeah, all of a sudden the mountains came out of nowhere, and then it was like, oh, cool. It was like we're straight in. Uh, treasure hunting movie. Like in the we're gonna Jones. we're gonna find the lost ark. Yes, I'm ready. We actually found it last night. Well, we'll get uh, a good length of the yeah. table car. It's not quite long. <laughs> it takes a while. Epic. Ah, what are in the zip line? You get the ticket, sir. Okay. All right. Oh, that really moved. <laughs> oh.
ziplining in multiple years. Heck yeah. All right, now it's time to zip line. Are you prepared for death? Let's do this, Superman style. Super, I've never done a Superman style zip line before, only hanging. Yeah, upside down one. Yeah, did the upside down one. Never lying down. So this might be the end of us and we go right across the river again. <laughs> That's a deep river. I did not expect it to be that deep. That was pretty intense. There was like a bridge down there. Let's hike down to the bridge. We can make it down. Yeah. It's easy. You ready? 10,000 steps. We could get on a raft and raft down it. That would be pretty sick. That would be pretty schnazzer. Look at our day of adventure. That's why not. Four, one, nine, nine, four, one, two, one. Okay, bye bye. Goodbye. Whoa! Whoa! Wow! Okay, up, stand. Okay. That's pretty intense. Yeah. Oh, that was cool. You just feel like at any moment it could just give away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, you got a helmet though. How's that? That was pretty epic. It was a little, uh, I always felt like the, the feeling wasn't that you're gonna fall, it was that one of them was gonna unhook and then you'd be like mm -hmm. dangling. Yeah. That would be scary. That was pretty sick. Yeah, that, the the view is just crazy. Crazy, definitely worth you know. It's like fourteen five. bucks total for the two. Yeah, it was five hundred if you just wanted to zip line back and forth. So. It's pretty cool. Going. Pull up. Okay, ready. Three, two, one. Wow. Yeah. It is very epic. That view is insane. Yeah, just a straight down. <laughs> Amazing. That's pretty cool. I'd say that's worth the money. Yeah, definitely, definitely. The cable car, car was really cool too. And that was cheaper. Yeah. Pretty snazzy. I just felt a raindrop. Uh oh. <laughs> oh I, that was fun. A man made forest. Wow, it looks like people made this. What creatures live in this forest and beyond? Probably a lot of cats and a lot of stray dogs. Yeah, there's already a few of them. Wow, a man-made forest. It's ominous and beautiful at the same time. And it looks like, kind of like the way the vegetation is in there, it's kind of like redwood. Yeah, but it definitely is. The, the trees, trees are much smaller. Trees aren't as big, but it does it does look very similar yeah, to redwood. They're just like super straight. That's cool. Pretty snazzer. Pretty snazzer. It's an epic Instagram spot. Go check out our Instagram. Uh, wow. Yikes. Tarshiers, are you ready to see them in this park? We better. 
There's 120 to get in here, so there better be a crack ton of a man. It's raining now. Well, this place truly has it all. That thing, I didn't expect it to instantly pop up, but it always hit me in the face. Tar shears, we're coming, buddies. If there's one thing I want to see on this island, it's these frackers. Look at that fracker. Look at him. He's a scary mofo. And we, oh, it looks like they already found him. Look at everyone stopping up there. Oh. Let's go. This is what everyone told us to do, is get an umbrella. Hey, look, now we have an umbrella. <laughs> we totally bought it ourselves. Yep, totally didn't. Give it to us when we got here. This is how it works. When you see a big group of people, that's where they are. Yeah. Same thing in Costa Rica with the monkeys. I'm glad we got umbrellas for these two raindrops yeah. at a time. I couldn't stand it. I think there's one climbing up in that tree. It's moving. Or someone's shaking it. One of the two. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god, they're tiny. Wait, we'll get around. They're all just sleeping now and hiding. They always look so scared. I feel bad for them. There's a lot of very large creatures saying hi to them. Plan how to kidnap one and take it home. Oh, he wouldn't move all day. He just sit there with his eyes open, then slowly close them. Can you say hi to it and have a heart attack? No. Oh. Then it'll be dead. Oh, they're right up next to that one. <laughs> this is much more crowded than any of the other things. Yeah. The tarshiers are just very small and they're just like... They just don't move. They literally, we haven't seen one move. And people are seeing like the caretakers will take your phone and take pictures of it and then give them a tip. But I don't know if I want to do that. Because I'm not, I, you have to feel the artistic vision of taking the picture yourself. Yeah, is this someone else taking the picture? No. You could just get a Google picture. Yeah, come on, come on. Those things are so creepy. Look at that thing, it looks like a horror movie. Is he licking his tail? Yeah. All right, we've just confirmed they're actually real. They're not fake. <laughs> In the souvenir shop, they're actually cheaper than you'd expect. Like 25 for this? 50 for this? That's wow. not bad. Yeah, that's <laughs> or a blue purse and they just make a tarsh here but there's nothing on it. God, it's, why do they look so creepy? <laughs> what the heck is that? Guys, I'm getting a, I'm getting a magnet thing. No, no. And now, the kill shot. This is a uh, cobra. It will kill you in 1.2 seconds. You don't get the anti venom. Yep. Uh, where is this? Epic. Why did you give me a gr a orange sun colored one? Oh. <laughs> this, this was 25. Okay, that's pretty fur. That's almost edible. The Chocolate Hills? We finally made it. Now we just have one million steps to climb and they're very, very steep. <laughs> oh gosh. Is this the Batu Caves? Lighter. It is a uh, Batu Caves. Yeah, this is a nice one. You should eat it right now. Arr, arr, arr. Up we go. Up we crack and go. We'll see the epic view at the top. Let's have a great time. Oh, that's not too bad. Like, we're already halfway there. Oh yeah. <laughs> we'll see you at the top. <laughs> We've made it to the top. It's interesting, we used to call them the Chaco Hills just because that's what we call chocolate all the time. But now that we're here in the Philippines, they actually refer to chocolate as Chaco a lot. Yeah, that's funny. There's so many. Yeah, they literally just go on over there. Just up there. 
Did they, uh, they're deforesting this Chaco Hill. Rip Chaco Hill. No, they're putting a resort on top of that. No, Chaco. true. That's the only way. Look at this road. That's really cool. It just kind of turns off and then it's Chaco. Chaco. So sugary. Sugary. <laughs> Join us on this walking tour of the Chaco Hills. We're Gabe Traveler now. And Gabriel? We'll just... Hey guys. This is cool. It's is cool. it's very interesting. It looks nowhere near as cool in the pictures. No, not at all. You looks... can't see how far down they go. Yeah, and they just go, go, go. Wow, this is... Wow. The drizzle is coming down now. Yep. Really... We're about to get absolutely drenched if our driver doesn't get here in a second. <laughs> oh no. Right here, we have a side of the chocolate hills no one shows you. Oh, on the street? Wow, this is epic. that epic drone footage. We had a drone this whole time and never used it once in the Philippines. Epic! Now that we remember that it exists, maybe some vanilla, vanilla, vanilla footage? Oh, yeah! Good thing we left when we did. It's raining very hard. It's been a lot of rain. It's been raining for like the last hour. Well, our tuk-tuk tour is ended. We got our laundry. We munched on some Jollibee. And now we're headed back to the uh, port so we can head to back to Cebu. Oh yeah, another ferry. We are in Bohol for four days. It was a good four days, pretty relaxing. And now we're gonna head back. The tuk-tuk tour was pretty good actually. The guy was really uh professional it's exactly what we wanted like somebody to drive us around but drop not. us off not actually give us a tour just bring us to the places if you want to go on a bull hall tour i recommend that guy if you want i don't uh, remember what his name was it was written somewhere uh, off to Cebu. time to get back on the super cat are you ready are you ready to super wow. this cat wow let's go wow looks like it's probably the same boat yeah <laughs> so it probably will have this the same exactly movie we're pulled in Oh. A super cat boat. I've turned into a cat, by the way. You're officially a cat with the best cat growl of all time. Thank you so much. Oh, that's like a kitty. So that ends the hall, everybody. That very circular island has come to a close. Yeah. We might be back. There's some more things that we want to check out. The transportation around is a little bit, I mean, this is our first time in Asia in general that we've gone outside of a major city. So we're not fully versed in the transportation and uh, definitely a little uh, cautious with renting motorbikes, especially you, you've never even ridden a normal bike. I think I've ridden, I've drove a dirt bike before, like a long time ago, and it's pretty easy to get the hang of, but you've literally never even drove a normal bike. No, yeah. Uh, our normal transportation method in other countries is to rent a car. We tried to rent a car here um, yesterday, or today, and there was not a single one on the whole island that was available. And from the, we ended up paying 1800 with tip for the transportation, for the tour thing, and it was like nine, that was, it was slightly more expensive to rent a car. Yeah, so we got a cheap way. I mean, we probably could have went with some local business that would have had a car, but, and then we would have probably had to show up and hope that it all worked out and then we would have had to stay another night here. We're just gonna get out and go to the next one. What, there was like 30 years old sometimes for the fee? There for was. no young driver fee? For some reason, on some of the websites, there were some, I, when I was looking last night, there were some that said age between uh, 30 and 64 and then 26 and 64. <laughs> Why? Why? What happened to 25? I feel like 25 was the universal there for... Yeah, I thought so. But. So yeah, extra fees. What do you know? But yeah, that was our Bohol experience. Very cool island. We got Definitely. a good variety. Some nature, some beach in, some city, tiny bit of city. Some very like go, go, go days like today. And then some were just like chilling. Just chilling in Cedar Rapids. It's nice to chill on the beach. So uh, now on to Cebu. 
We're having troubles finding a bus. I don't know if it's all, they're all, just all booked out for this week or what, but every time I go on the bus website to try to get some tickets, it says, oh, no tickets available, get a taxi for 5,500. So maybe we'll have to go to the bus station and see what they can do. And uh, see you then. Goodbye. I got one last thing to say to you guys. Can you guess what it is? Super cat? This video might continue in Cebu. I don't know. It always we always have five endings. So see you guys in one second. Back in Cebu. Oh, wow! It feels like a million years ago we were here. We got to watch the entirety of Black Adam again. We got to watch Black Adam twice in the last week. All I gotta say is, heroes don't kill people. I'm no hero. Now we have a 30, we're staying in IT Park. It's a 30 minute taxi ride, unfortunately. So, that's what we're doing now. New hotel. Oh, another hotel tour. <laughs> going to the penthouse. We have been in the same place in Manila, or the same two places the entire time, so we haven't had anything to tour, but now, so every day, a new place? That's fracking oh, epic. And so epic. And anytime we go on like trips to like a different Asian country, we're usually just in the same hotel for like three yeah. days straight. We usually only have like one or two. But now, so many. Ah. Let's see what this one's like. This is a three-star hotel, Google said. It's $30 about. So, so it's about right in the middle of our yeah. usual this trip. Oh, it's behind. <laughs> <laughs> that has a food smell to it. Did they go for the, uh, did they go for the construction wall look? Oh. Oh, oh. You know what? It is like... It is mid-tier. Right in the middle. It's like much better than those cheap ones that we've had. Yeah, which were like 20, 25 dollars. But also a lot worse than the really nice ones we've had. Yeah. So it's right there. It's like, in the, if there was a spectrum, it'd be right here, uh, but a little more down. Everything's a spectrum. There's a balcony though. Holy nuts. That's actually a pretty good view, what the heck? Wow, we actually got a decent view. You yeah. can't really see it. It'd be cool in the morning when maybe we'll show you if we remember. Wow, they give us three waters. That's convenient. Uh, the shower's a bit skinny. But, bidet test! Holy nuts, that's very mid-tier bidet. It's, everything about this is very mid-tier. Not mid, but mid-tier. How many plies is this? This looks like a two-ply toilet paper. That's, that's very rare for the family. <laughs> How's the water pressure on the shower? I have to pull the thing up. I have to pull it harder. So, twist it. Hey, it's not awful. It's mid-tier. <laughs> mid-tier everything. Thank well, you. I would say this is practically what I expected or a little bit better. Epic. And it has magically has three towels. Why? And there's some legs in my shot. Wow, they <laughs> must have known Duck was coming. <laughs> Burgers. Burger place. Can this compete with Sweet Ecstasy, the best burger so far in the Philippines? Uh, let's see. Fries first. They look like In-N-Out fries. The fries themselves have some flavor for once. That's good. I Not like In-N-Out fries. In-N-Out fries taste like nothing. And what did you get? The double? The double better burger. Oh my god. I mean, it's called better burger, so it's gotta be a better burger than sweet. It's gotta be. I mean, look at this guy behind you. He looks like he's having a great time. And that girl's like, uh, uh, he's gonna try to steal my burger. And he's like, <laughs> I'll eat everything. A better double burger. Nice toasted bun. Okay. I will never be able to give you a definitive answer which one's better. I'll never have them both side by side no. at the same time. It's very similar. So I think they they even like cook it in with like the onions, like sweet ecstasy that makes it. I can't tell if there's any difference in the sauce. Oh uh, yeah, it's a little different sauce. I don't know exactly what it is. That's pretty good. It's the better burger sauce. It's very good actually, I'd say. 
But of course, top expensive two? burger for the Philippines. Yeah, it's definitely. Uh, there's two burgers up here, ah. and then the rest of the burgers. Ah, very here. unfortunate. When you get a really good burger at a burger place specifically, they're always over five dollars. Yes, on uh, there's like a massive step up in price, and then the quality isn't like massively stepped up. It's still much better, but uh, yeah, I, I really don't even. I mean, we had to order these. This did not come with. This was additional. Yeah, ten to five dollars. Mine is the four cheeseburger. I was a little scared to get it because it said um, cheddar sauce. And I thought that was going to be like nacho cheese, like uh, the Japanese place uh, I've seen before. Like when it says cheese on top, they just pour nacho cheese on top. And I'm like, yeah. ah, that's very good. Okay, let's go. Is it going to be better than Burger King's four cheese waffle? I would hope so. Oh my god, instantly. One billion times the flavor of Burger King. <laughs> That's pretty easy to do because Burger King had literally no flavor. It had more flavor. When, when we tried we it in deliver it. Yeah, when you tried it in store, it was much better. Oh, you can actually taste the different cheeses in the four cheeses. Really? Because they have some more, they have some stronger cheeses in there, like Gouda and ones that really have a very particular taste. And it's. It has like a good amount of salt, but it's not too salty with all the cheese surprises. Like, that's really good. And also kind of really small. Yeah, a nice $5 burger. At Sweet Ecstasy, I also get the grilled cheese burger. So I go for the super cheesy burgers, and you get the double cheeseburger, so we're comparing these directly. We haven't had Sweet Ecstasy in a while, though. It used to be right next to our place, and now it's further away. But this is really, really good. They had shakes here, too, which would have been interesting to try, because Sweet Ecstasy has very good shakes. True. That's really good. Nailed it. Top two.